Hi, this is video number one for Red Clay. Um, I'm going to hand out my own um, thoughts on uh, chord scales as they might apply uh, to these chords. We've got a four bar pattern, four bar uh, uh, set of chord changes that repeats over and over and over again. And let's take a look at each measure. The first measure is um, C minor 11. And I'm going to advise that on a minor, standalone minor chord, um, even though uh, the key signature may reflect an Aeolian mode, I'm going to encourage you to play or use the Dorian mode um, over that chord. Very easy to find. If you think of that first chord, that concert C minor 11, if you think of that as the second degree of a particular major scale, you'll find that it is the second degree of the B flat major scale. So if you know your concert B flat uh, scale, and you simply start those exact same notes, but start them on C concert. Um, for transposing instruments, it would be either D concert or A concert, but... And that gives you that Dorian sound. is that there are no avoid notes. For example, if I play all those notes but only use them in thirds or, or stack them in thirds like you would a chord, you would get this. Those are all of the tones, but instead of being played this way, I'm articulating them in thirds. But you can hear that all of those tones sound fantastic together. So it's a great uh, scale to use when you have a minor chord that's sort of a standalone minor chord, especially if it's not uh, a part of something else. But this is a sort of a standalone one minor chord, uh, which will be great to groove on using Dorian. So uh, we're about 25% of the way there. What I would encourage you to do is to practice that scale. Think of it however you want to think of it as far as the notes go. Do you think of it as in terms of concert B flat? I uh, think of it in terms of uh, 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 Dorian mode, whatever floats to your boat. Um, sometimes people think in terms of key signatures. So for example, that's playing using uh, two flats in the concert idiom, uh, concert uh, uh, key. Just some nice free melodies will help you explore that sound. If you take a look at the second measure, this is our old friend the 2-5. So real quick recap, you've got a 2 chord and a 5 chord of a particular key. Take a quick moment and think about what the parent key is of that particular measure. Um, and uh, uh, again, you can if you see a minor chord, you can think Dorian, you see a uh, dominant chord, you can think Mixolydian, but to me, it's more bang for the buck to take a look, a wider look at the overall measure and the key from which that whole measure is born, whether it be the two chord or the five chord. It does not necessarily inform note choice, but it, it does uh, give you the sort of um, chorale of notes that are gonna sound great over both of those chords. So here we have, in concert terms, a B flat minor seven to E flat seven. So this is concert A flat major. And again, just like the first measure, if you know your major scales, you're dialed. Here's the concert A flat major scale. <laughs> exactly that same scale over the first chord of the second bar. This is concert B flat minor 7. There's the, there's the chord, B flat minor 7, using the exact same scale. I'm going to change chords to the dominant chord. This is concert E flat 13. This is the second chord of the second measure. Same thing. As I've said in earlier videos as 
well, not only is it important to exercise them in seconds like you normally play scales, but exercise them in thirds, or fourths for that matter, or random uh, 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 intervals. Uh, same exact scale in thirds. <laughs> second bar. first video here. We're halfway through. Um, this is the first two bars of that four-bar uh, progression, and all of that can be boiled down to two major scales. The first one, concert B-flat major scale. The second measure, concert A-flat major scale. Hope that helps. More to come.